Hey guys, welcome to my 20 week pregnancy update. I am officially halfway to being done <laughs> with this pregnancy and maybe even a little less because halfway would be 40 weeks and I'm really hoping to deliver baby before then. But of course babies come when they want to come so we'll see how it goes. But yes, officially halfway. I feel like it's going so fast. Time just flies by when you already have kids, multiple kids, and the holidays and everything. Like this pregnancy is just flying by. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about being 20 weeks pregnant. So first about baby, I have my uh, Baby Center app to tell me about baby. So baby is the size of a banana this week. So that's huge. And then also it said that baby is gonna start having hiccups and I'll actually notice them, which I think just yesterday I felt hiccups for the first time with the baby. And it's funny because with my first pregnancy, I felt hiccups all the time. And with my second pregnancy, he hardly hiccuped like at all. It was so weird. And so I'll be curious to see how this one is. Also new with baby is they can taste. So they have taste buds now, so that's uh, fun to know. It also said that the baby could start sucking it, its thumb now while in my womb, and also if it's a girl, then the uterus has formed. All those things are going on with baby. As for me, I am doing okay. I don't know, I'm still in the second trimester, so things are still still okay but I feel like they're leaning more towards like not as great as what they were <laughs> like I'm getting more tired now I forgot to have coffee one day and then I was like basically falling asleep as I was playing with the kids and so I ended up making myself a cup of coffee at oh geez what was it it was like 5 or 5 30 at night which is pretty late. Okay, so <laughs> uh, change of plans. I guess my oldest son, Grayson, wanted to join me. And so he's gonna join me for the next half of my update. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, I had a cup of coffee mm -hmm. at like 5.30, 5 or 5.30, and Anthony was like, oh my gosh, you should not be having it this late. You're gonna be up all night. No, I was still exhausted by like 10 o'clock that night. Like it hardly did anything for me. So I'm definitely feeling way more tired. I've been feeling just like not well, and I can't tell if it's like nauseousness or just like uncomfortableness in my belly, but like, yeah, I've just not been feeling the best. I never wanna eat dinner now. I don't know, again, I don't know if it's nauseous or something else, but it's like, I hardly ever wanna eat dinner. I hardly ever wanna eat. Maybe I'll have a snack like once every few days, but I don't know, just food isn't my friend right now. So definitely not doing as good as I was. I very randomly will get this yeah. really sharp pain in my back. I don't know why, but like I'll bend down to reach for something and it will hurt so bad in my back. And it just happens like once every few days, but I'm just continuously am getting that and it hurts. Oh my goodness, I just had that happen yesterday. So anyway, it's definitely getting worse with the pregnancy i don't know baby is kicking and moving a lot more i can feel him or her a lot more which is super fun and exciting of course it's still only when i'm sitting um but i think the baby is kicking so forcefully now that like somebody on the outside could feel it anthony hasn't felt the baby yet mostly because like it happens so sporadically but i don't think it'll be too much longer before that's able to happen. I'm still getting leg cramps quite a bit. Uh, those are not fun. Only when I'm like waking up in the, in the morning though. So that's the only time that really happens. I'm also getting heartburn a ton more. I'd say I get it about at least once a day, usually in the evenings. Sometimes I need Tums and sometimes I don't so it's definitely getting worse, which is not fun if you've ever had heartburn Oh, it's the worst and towards the end of pregnancy you just have it constantly and it's it's just annoying is what it is But thank goodness there is Tums out there that you can take to help you. I haven't really had any 
cravings, still just want a lot of meat. I'm really excited because we're hosting Thanksgiving with Anthony's family this upcoming weekend. Ugh. And um, I went and got a meat and cheese tray, which is like one of my favorite things to get when I'm hosting a party. And so we're gonna have that um, out for people to snack on. And I'm gonna have so much of that meat and cheese tray because I just love it. I love it so much. If I could just eat meat and cheese trays all day, every day, I would. <laughs> And I know you're probably not supposed to have me. I didn't have it my first two pregnancies, but this time with my third, I'm like, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm staying away from like Subway or like places where they just like leave this stuff out all day because I don't trust that. But when it's just already prepackaged and then I'm just eating it like right then and there, then I think it's okay. But consult your doctor or you do you. We will be finding out baby's gender next week. So please stay tuned for the next video because I will have details about the anatomy scan and also baby's gender. I cannot wait to find out. Anthony. It sounds like Anthony is going to be able to come with me to the anatomy scan. So I'm so excited for that. My mom is going to watch the kids for me. And then we're going to announce the gender um, the next day on Thanksgiving. So I'm so excited to find out if it's a boy or a girl. Final guesses, Anthony thinks it's a boy because he swears we can only have boys because we already have two boys. And I think it's a girl. If you saw, I made a vlog yesterday about old wives tale gender predictions. And most of them were leaning towards girl. Not that they're like foolproof or anything. They do say each one is like 50-50 shot, but most of them were for girl and my biggest symptom on why i think it's a girl is because my face is constantly breaking out with acne and i think that means it's a girl so we'll see who's right one of us is gonna be right either i will be or my husband will be so definitely stay tuned because i cannot wait to see what we're having and then we can start thinking about names which is gonna be stressful i'm still having a bunch of like nose congestion um, I always have to blow my nose at least once every morning, which is so annoying. I'm assuming that's pregnancy related because I can't be that I have a cold. I don't feel like I have a cold. Every morning it's the same though. And then, yeah, I just like constantly have a stuffy nose. So, I don't know. Super annoying. No real headaches. I haven't had to have Tylenol or anything. So that's been really nice. The only real pain I've been feeling is just like I said, like the back spasms when I have them very randomly. And then there will be times where I will just have like a crampy feeling. Um, and I'm assuming that's just my uterus stretching. I think I read on my app that says that the top of my uterus is now like at my belly button. I think a lot of times it's just that stretching and like making more room for baby. I'm having to pee all the time. There's not very many nights where I can sleep through the night anymore because I always have to pee and I'm always so thirsty. I'm drinking a ton, especially when I first wake up in the morning. I am so, so thirsty. I think that's gonna be it. I feel like my mood isn't as happy as it was in the past two weeks of like being in the second trimester. But I could also attribute that to the fact that like daylight savings time happened and so now it gets dark at like 4.30 and so it's really depressing and I always get like this like this time of year because it's freezing outside so we can't really go outside and then it gets dark way too early and so then I'm like stuck inside with the kids and I'm like what are we gonna do every day and just struggling with that. It's definitely hard to like keep morale up when we're in this time of year. So I definitely think that could be contributing to my mood as well. But I think that's gonna be it for my 20 week update. Not too many new things. Really the next vlog at 21 weeks is gonna be the most exciting because I will have updated pictures and updated information on baby. Please send good thoughts that we will, um, that baby will be healthy and no uh, health problems will be noticed on the scan and that everything looks okay and um, please send girl thoughts your way too because I really hope it's a girl um, but we will see next week what it is so we we honestly really don't know other than like intuition so we will see but I think that's gonna be it 
Um, Grayson's like playing in the bed behind me. So um, I think I'll go. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.